The Iron Lung isn't just any exotic LMG, it's a fire breathing dragon. And this build unleashes the beast, giving it a 50% larger mag, more handling, faster reload, and the damage you need. And if you don't know, now you know. The Iron Lung exotic LMG might just be one of the best exotics in the game. And when it comes to LMGs, well, I'm thinking about it being my favorite. It's really fun to use if you build it correctly. Well, let's open up that can of worms. It's not perfect. So you have to carefully think through your build to make this, I guess, a little bit more user friendly. So it comes with damage to targets out of cover. I got damage to armor on mine, a 4.5 second reload, which isn't the fastest thing in the world, but we do have Ardent. So shooting heats up the weapon, filling up the heat meter. The meter is equivalent to 50% of the weapon's standard magazine size. When the meter is full, round shot by the weapon, ignite enemies. Yep, they catch on fire. And when not shooting, the meter depletes over time. And every time you reload or swap, the weapon fully depletes the meter. It's got decent accuracy and stability for mods. We got an extra 35 rounds. We got crit damage and we got more crit damage. Those are pretty decent crit damage mods, I gotta say. I'm running a ninja bike backpack filled with three striker. I'll show you all the pieces, but let me just disassemble this for a quick second. And the iron lung has a base 800 RPM with a mag size of 85. And that mag size is on the lower end for LMGs. And the RPM is, you know, right there in the middle, pretty good. But just like most LMGs in the Division 2, the mag size, weapon handling, and more specifically, the reload are things that you definitely want to pay attention to because they can be the difference between enjoying a weapon or not. And so when you have a small mag and a long reload like this weapon does, you will notice or it will feel like that you're reloading all the time, that you're spending more time reloading than you are shooting. With an 85 round mag, how long does it take you to burn through that mag? compared to the time it takes to reload it. And the gap between those two things is not that different. So the build that I bring to you today addresses that issue so that it not only feels good, but it's extremely effective. Okay, it starts with the Ninja Bike Backpack. So this has weapon damage, armor, skill, tier, and crit chance, and it comes with the talent Resourceful. So what that does is basically open up an additional slot from a brand or gear set. So for example, I have three pieces of Striker, but because of the Ninja, it unlocks the fourth piece bonus, which is Striker's Gamble. So we're getting that 15% weapon handling, but that's important because it's helping our reload speed and it's helping us land more shots. And then the three piece bonus is giving us 15 15% rate of fire, making this weapon feel even better. So if you look here, we're now at 920 RPM up from 800. And then we get Striker's Gamble, which is giving us 0.65% amplified damage, stacking 100 times really strong and then we have crits everywhere here and then all the other striker pieces basically look the same that's the gloves and here are your knees in order to get this weapon to be extremely effective we need to address the reload speed which we did with the striker gear set and then the mag size which we're doing with a three-piece brazos combo which brings us skill haste a skill tier and 50 percent magazine size which is amazing by the way we got an armor core I have crit chance and then 15% weapon damage. So this is the Picaro's holster. You wanna run this piece. And then this is the other Brazos. I have it on my chest. This is armor and crits and I'm running it with obliterate. So critical hits, increase total weapon damage by 1% for 10 seconds, stacks up to 25 times. So it's really good addition to this build. And since these mods are crit damage and crit damage, our stats come out looking pretty good. So we have 56% crit chance and 76% crit hit damage. And the amplified damage is beefing that all up. So for skills, I'm using the decoy so I can spend more time shooting. And then I have the fixer drone. For the specialization, I'm running gunner for ammo regeneration and armor armor on kill. So this is what the damage looks like on the head, full stacks. So almost a million on the head and then the body 571 approaching 600,000. There's some nuances about LMGs that you want to be aware of them. And one of them is suppression. Suppression can seem like a nice thing. And I guess if you use it strategically, it is. It allows your team to flank. But if you're using this in solo or in other group circumstances, suppression could be a pain in the butt. It slows you down from clearing the content because the enemy are hiding behind cover and they're not coming out. And so for me personally, I don't like the suppression effect in the division. Too. And any weapon can suppress, but the LMGs for some reason are just extremely good at it. And especially if you're playing solo, suppressing the enemy is really annoying because LMG builds aren't exactly run and flank type builds. So, so when they're suppressed, it's not like you're gonna go over there and rush them and shoot them in the butt. 
Eh, sometimes you do at your own risk. My point is, is that there's very few LMGs that actually counter the suppression effect. The pestilence is one because it lays out those ticks. And so when the enemy are in cover, at least they're still taking damage. The blue screen can stagger tag the enemies. And then this exotic LMG, just a single hit from those fire rounds will pop them out of cover or the fire rounds will keep them out of cover. But more importantly, that combined with its DPS keeps the enemies from reaching that cover or popping back into it, allowing you to finish him off and move on to the next enemy. And reloads can get you into a lot of trouble. Like think of the pestilence or even this weapon. When you're reloading, it's giving the enemy the opportunity to huck something like a fire grenade on you or for riot foamers to come and flank you and stick you to the ground. But what's cool about the iron lung is that it's the back half that catches the enemy on fire. So those last few bullets are most likely going to be putting those threats on fire, buying you time to reload if you know what's good for you you hit that like subscribe and then join the channel So try this build and if you like it, make sure you save it in your loadouts because it actually works pretty well with a lot of our global events. I use it a ton in Guardians and it's gonna be amazing in Golden Bullet as well because Golden Bullet is gonna eliminate that reload issue entirely because Golden Bullet reloads your weapon. And with Guardians, it significantly reduces your reload speed and increases your RPMs as well. So it felt really good with Guardians. A Lot of good stuff happening with this LMG. It's one to get, if you don't know how to get it, it's in the general loot pool. So all you have to do is farm where targeted loot is set to LMGs, go into countdown to farm LMGs or open those exotic caches. I'll catch you on the next one, banditos. Thank you for hanging out with me today. My name is Tuxedo Bandito, and this was another episode of The Division 2. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to ensure you don't miss out on the fantastic experiences waiting for you in The Division 2. And if you like builds like this, check out the recommended build video I have here for you. If you have anything you want to see covered, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And thank you to all the channel members and donors who make everything possible. Tux Nation wouldn't be without you. When you buy a game from Ubisoft, enter the creator code Tuxedo Bandito to support the channel. Easy peasy. Follow me. I get it.